Five sport leaders have been inducted into the Singapore Sport Hall of Fame. The first time this category is being recognised. Now, the format was refreshed last year to recognise those who work behind the scenes to develop sport here in Singapore. For instance, administrators, coaches, as well as technical specialists. So these changes were made to strengthen and make more explicit the institutional role of the Singapore Sport Hall of Fame. And we want to do this as a strategy to identify role models in our sporting sector, honour our heroes, but more importantly also to engender in our Team SG athletes the spirit of giving back to the community. So One of the things which I always believe in is to, to encourage more Singaporeans, uh, the, the athletes, to come forward to take up roles uh, that can uh, support athletes to help uh, build uh, national federations and for those who have the resources to be involved in international sports organizations. Three athletes were also inducted, recognizing their achievements beyond medals. Syed Kadir remains the only local boxer to go to the Olympic Games and won Singapore's first Commonwealth Games medal for the sport. He went on to coach the national team for 44 years. Paddler Wu Meng Wu has won multiple gold medals and reached the semi-finals of the Olympic Games twice. And four-time Olympian swimmer Jocelyn Yeo is the only athlete on record to have won 40 gold medals at the SEA Games. It's a lot of hard work that's been put in and I think, you know, really go out there and give everything you've got, you know, believe in yourself, um, do it for the country, your family, your friends, your loved ones, you know, and do it for yourself because I think, uh, you know, each athlete puts in that sacrifice, right, and I think that they want to be rewarded with the results that they want.